Okay, hello and welcome to Math 1. Now a caveat to this video is that you shouldn't pay any attention to the dates in the video. I use the same video each semester, so depending on which semester you're in, the dates might not apply. But everything else will. So when you uh, start this class, you're going to see the welcome announcement, and of course you want to read through that. It tells you that um, you're going to see the Start Here and Course Information folder, which is right here. Um, but before I get started with that, let me um, give you a little tour of what we have here in, in My Open Math in case you've never used it before. Across the top, you have some menu items, Course, which will just take you to the home of the course. So it's right where we are. Uh, messages. So if you want to send a message or read your messages, you can click here. So uh, to send one, you click send new message, pick somebody in the class, put a subject, and then write a message to them. So you can message me or any of your classmates. The forums tab, these are like discussion boards in Blackboard. So all the different uh, discussions or forums rather that you have in the course will be listed here and so that's a quick way to get to them and new ones that you haven't read will be in red and you can click directly on those and see all the new ones. Calendar is an important one this gives you the due dates of all your assignments and you can click forward just to see what the other ones are and gradebook is not going to show for me because I'm not a student, but for you, you'll see all of your grades and a summary of those grades. And then log out is to log out. So I'm going to click back on course to go to my home page. And you'll see along the left side of the screen, you have um, pretty much the same links, messages, forums, calendar, gradebook, log out, but you have this extra one called help using my open math. So if we click into the Start Here course information, and then I want to go back to where I was, if you look across the top here, we have what's called breadcrumbs. So if I click on the one that I was before, then I get back here. So that's helpful to know for navigation purposes. So I'm going to go back in here. This video is what you're watching. Um, if you click on this link, you will can read a bio about me, and it shows my office hours. Click here for your syllabus. This is really important. This is the contract we have with each other. So you should read it carefully and um, also probably print a copy of it. Autobiographies is where you're going to post a little bio about yourself and respond to two others post. Syllabus quiz is a quick quiz on making sure that you understand the policies and procedures for the class. Using the forum and mom homework is a little uh, assignment to help you um, be able to use the forum feature. Uh, well, the forum feature is very easy to use, but um, you might not have typed math and used the math equation editor before. So this kind of helps you um, get started with that. And entering answers in mom is a little homework assignment to give you an orientation with how homework assignments work and also to answer um, some you know, real basic questions to help you get used to it. Our textbook is called Pre-Algebra. Uh, well, we have two. We have Pre-Algebra by Lynn Marisek and Arithmetic by David Lippmann. And you don't need to have a copy of either one of those because they're all embedded in the course and you can print them off as you need them. You'll see here that we have some of those forums that I showed you in the forum thing. If you see a mistake in the course, you can post it here and you get extra credit. Um, if it's a non-homework related question, you can use the Ask Professor Watts link. Gradebook information kind of breaks down um, what the gradebook looks like and what everything means. And accessibility gives you information on um, how My Open Math can be more accessible for you. Testing information gives you some information about um, 
Well, first of all, your exam has to be in the testing centers. But if you can't do that, if you're on a ship or something, um, then you can fill out a proctor request form. And um, if you just don't want to come into campus, you can also pay $15 to take it with an online proctor. So I'm going to click the breadcrumb to go back. Oh, that went too far. Let's see, course navigation, that's what I'm giving you right now. Uh, technical help on mom, um, you can find all the link, the, you can find the link right there for technical help. And etiquette is just about um, the proper way to communicate in an online class. So there's a lot of stuff to go through in that first week. And not only do you need to go through all that, but once you finish, um, Oh, actually, no, that's all you need to do in the first week is just get familiar with the class and do the orientation. And then once you do that, you'll go on to week two, and week two is going to be um, more traditionally how the class is going to work. So the course is divided into 16 weeks, and in each week, with the exception of a few, <clears throat> there's a list of learning objectives and reading and videos and homework that correspond with those learning objectives. All right, and um, we have a couple of non, or a few non-calculator weeks. So weeks two through six and 11 um, has a part one on the final with no calculator. So I'm not watching you, but you're gonna only hurt yourself if you're not doing that work by hand and without the calculator. So we have the course objectives and the week two, um, well, the course objective that we're working on and then the the individual week objectives. So this is what you're going to be learning about. And you have a reading assignment. You can just click on it. It'll open and you can print it or you can just read it right on the screen. Whatever works best for you. Um, and then in addition to the reading, it might be helpful to go through some videos if you're a person who likes videos. Week two practice, I students wanted a place to just work on the problems without being judged. And uh, so I put practice problems in there so that you had a place to do that. So they're not graded, it's just for you to practice. And then the homework is graded and that's what you need to do for each, for just about every week. And then the homework questions form is here, but that's within, if we click on the homework, and you get stuck on this problem. First of all, there's a video to help you. And second of all, there's this link that says post this question to the forum. So if I click on it, it automatically puts the question in and I can just say, this is what I tried and I'm not getting the right answer or something like that. And then click post thread. You could even post it anonymously by clicking this little box. All right, so we don't need that. Um, so the homework, you can skip around. You can go any question you want. Most of them have a video. And all of them have that post to question, post the question to forum link. So let's look at back at, say, week five, which is a quiz. So in this week, we don't have any learning objectives um, or reading assignments. We just have a review homework and a quiz. And in this first quiz, you can't use a calculator. Of course, I'm not going to be watching you, so you have to be honest. And if you do use a calculator on this, you're going to hurt yourself because by the time you get to the final, you won't be able to do those things by hand. Um, so that's about it. You just go through week by week, and there'll be a new announcement every now and then. So if you have any problems, if you get stuck, please let me know because I can't see you. I don't know when you're frustrated. Um, all right. I look forward to working with you for the class and good luck.